Hi everyone. So I'm going to start a video blog called The Sound of Risk. And the purpose of it is going to be to show you on a molecular level how to succeed in the music business. I believe that you could probably take this same blueprint and apply it to any business and succeed. But I've seen a reasonable amount of success and played my, played my fair share of shows. And I've satisfied an incredible urge to get out there and perform with my acoustic guitar. Um, my challenges are a little different right now, but let's say your challenge is to get out there with a band or sing or play the guitar and make contacts and succeed in the music business. Let me share with you how I go about achieving this goal and how I've been doing it for 20 years. So this is a, a typical Saturday night in, in, in the endeavors of being a musician and establishing contacts and forging opportunities out of thin air. So let's start by establishing our destination. Last night, I had a conversation with a friend of mine, and he said that he was going to see a band up in a place called the Lamp Post Inn. Now, this is pretty far, so I had to have some kind of a purpose to go up there. Now, he's a great drummer who's looking for a band right now, and I thought to myself, this guy's a pro. He probably hangs around with pros, and it's going to be a good investment of my time to take a trip up there. And it's going to be fun, too. You never know what's going to happen. Now, rule number one. And, and this is this is consistent with the very laws of physics, the laws of an equal and opposite reaction happening. If you do nothing, you'll get nothing. If you stay home, you're not going to have any success. So I knew that. Now, it's not like I wand drive all the way up to the lamppost inn where I really didn't know anybody there. It's not like I was die. If I had my my I, I would I, if I had my wishes, I would have a teleportation system that would just just beam me to the lamppost in right away. But unfortunately, we don't have that. So I had to get in my car and I had to drive an hour and 18 minutes to this destination. And I knew that there was going to be something at the end of this if I went. And there was. So let me share with you exactly how I went about going and doing this. Now, technology is a beautiful thing in this day and age. So what we can do is we can plot our course. So I plotted my entire course and, and found my way all the way up to Vernon, New Jersey at the Lamp Post Inn. We could even do this. We could even like highlight, go take this and look and see what the venue looks like, which is exactly what I did. So that's the Lamp Post Inn. Just so I know what it looks like. I've never been there. So I established my destination and then I checked out the Facebook page and they had an event up there called the Saturday, October 29th. The Lamp Post Inn has a Halloween party. All right. So here was my here is my contact, a great guy, a good friend of mine named John Torhan, who happens to be a fantastic drummer, and he's looking for a band right now. So there's another very, very, very big reason why I should go up there and meet the guy and talk to him. And uh, I, w I drove all the way up there, and there he was dressed in his costume with a giant smile on his face and his, face and his wonderful girlfriend there, and they were very it – it was just great to see them. So I had a contact there, and here it was, the Halloween party at the Lamp Post Inn with one size fits all. Now, John is a pro, so he's probably going to hang around with professional musicians, right? So I go up, and I didn't know one size fits all. They're, um, they're this band right here, and here you have the part, a Halloween party at the Lamp Post Inn. So I go there, <clears throat> and right away, the place is crowded. Uh, it's mobbed because it's a Halloween party. Everybody's you know, dressed up in their outfits and the band starts playing and John introduces me to the entire band. He says, Hey, this is rich. He's a great guitar player. And, the, and, you know, I met the entire band. We shook hands. Now there's an element of chaos in this. You can't really be too pushy. And this is an art, the art of meeting somebody. You have to walk up to them, say, hi, I'm rich. They might be talking to somebody else. Don't be a pest. Go up to them and nonchalantly and gracefully introduce yourself and say the band sounds great. Asked, I was asking them questions about their gear. We were talking about the gear. I said, you sang that one song beautifully. Oh, thank you very much. So I met the singer. I met the bass player. I met the drummer. I was checking out the gear. And then I ended up talking to this great guy, Arnold here, who was the guitar player of the band. And it turns out that he is not only a, the guitar player of this band, but he also works as, as a guitar teacher, which you know, obviously so am I. And he works in the music business as an audio engineer, camera operator, manager. And 
he happens to be a really nice guy. So now all of a sudden, not only do I have a contact with John, who's looking for a band, I now know the the Lamp Post Inn, and I'm familiar with that. I, if, if I get a chance, I talk to the manager, I talk to the bar, uh, the bartenders, you know, I just ingratiate myself to people. Be really, I'm really nice about it. I'm not too pushy. In the past, I've been very impatient. Sometimes I think I was a little too aggressive, and I'm still aggressive, but I'm gracefully aggressive, if that makes sense. And I made a contact with the entire band, one size fits all, and in particular, this great guy named Arnold. Now, at this point, what I do is I log all the information into my database. So up in Sussex County here, we have the lamp post in. Now, I need to fill in all this information. So eventually, I'll find out the, the contact, the name of the person that books the venue, the time to contact them, their email, their cell, the website, the Facebook page, the phone number, the location, and I'll log that into my database and save it. Now, over here, I go over to the musicians and I log Arnold, who's the guitarist, with his Facebook page. And obviously, you can see the, the magnitude of my database is just is immense at this point. Now, out of all of these out of all of these venues, Sussex, Musicians, New York City, Essex, Middlesex, the entire shore, Bergen, Hudson, Union, Monmouth, I just work this all day long, all day long I work my database. Out of all this, I can tell you that it's like kernels of popcorn heating up, all right? The more you work these contacts, the more the the opportunities will will pop up. So I I may have the Bridge Art Gallery here in Bayonne hosts events. I have a strong contact over there. She hosts uh, uh, Cheryl Mack hosts amazing events. Crafty Fox is, an, is a new place. I'm, little Images. These are these are all places that I have contacts with, and I'm trying to generate interest or maybe create events around that. So that's just in Bayonne. I'm digressing a bit here. But up back in Sussex County, now I now have the lamppost in. Now what I can do, watch this. This is something very interesting. Now I don't spend too much time in Sussex County for obvious reasons because it's just way too far. But let's go back to Bayonne. Let's take a typical Saturday night, right? Now, see all this right here? Facebook is the primary portal for all activity. So what I'll do is I'll look for an activity by going like this. I'll click on this, this Facebook. I'll click on this. I'll click on this. I'll click on this. Click on this. And it'll open up all kinds of different, all kinds of uh, new browsers, right? So now what I can do is I could say, okay, got anything going on here? There's, this is exactly what I do. Anything going on here? Now, if you hit I believe if you hit control tab. So let's say you have six or seven things lined up and you're looking for something to do. Okay, start with the lamppost in. Anything going on there? Let's check it out. Boom, nothing. See, John's playing today. Anything going on there? Nothing going on there. Halloween, oh, Halloween, one size fits all. They have an event. So now I found something to do. Now, just this database enables me to scroll through all of these venues with, with ease and technology has enabled me to have countless venues in my periphery and on my radar screen. So out of all of that, one opportunity is going to pop up. Sooner or later, John's going to call me up and say, hey, Rich, I found a, a place, that, a band that needs a guitar player. You want to sit in for a night? Absolutely. This is how it's done. This is how you go about. Now, I want to keep you posted on what happens with with uh, with my contact, with the lamp post in, I want to share with you. I might come back in a in a future video and say, "Hey, remember that contact that I made? Well, guess what happened?" So nobody ever told me this kind of stuff. Nobody sat me down. It's certainly not taught in schools, at least not to my knowledge. But I want to show you on a molecular level and precisely and exactly how this is done through this video blog called "The Sound of Risk." So keep tuned. Stay tuned. Stay. I'll keep you posted on any activities and uh, 
Have a great day. Now, if you like, please go over to the Guitar Den and add your email address into here. And then I'll have your email address and we are going to keep in touch and I'm going to keep you on my mailing list because I'm concocting some pretty amazing events here in Bayonne, New Jersey at this point. So I'll see you guys really soon. Have a great day.